Hello everyone, my name is Brooke Niles and I'm the head coach at Florida State University. And today I'm going to talk to you about spacing on your approach. I know a lot of people like to pass and then really charge the net. And at Florida State, we teach to have a little bit more patience and really have a good distance between yourself and the net and your setter. Um, so you can keep the ball in front of you and make it a really aggressive attack on the ball, whether you hit or shoot. It helps your vision a lot, and we're gonna check out my team doing it right, and a couple wrong ones too, so we can talk about it. So in this first video, we have Peyton Caffrey. She is one of our indoor players that has transitioned to beach. So her approach is actually a little bit different. Um, she does a four, sometimes a little bit of five-step approach. And if you do a four-step approach, you can have that first step before the setter uh, sets the ball. And it's almost like a timing step. So you wanna get yourself in that position ready to go, but then you really wanna pause and not make that second step or the first step of your third approach until after the ball has left the setter's platform. We tell our hitters to look for a little window of space between the ball and the platform or the hands in the platform before they see the set and decide to go. That'll help you stay behind the ball, it'll help your timing, and it'll really give you all shots um, in, on your approach. So here Peyton goes. She's gonna pass, she passes right of center, which really helps create that space right away. Liz does a great job keeping the set in front of her and Peyton's able to attack. She has an aggressive attack and she hits that ball line, but she is really able to see that little move the defensive did at the end where they kind of doubled up on her angle. And they probably did that because she sold the angle, sold the angle so well. So in this next video is Elena Chacon. She's on our ones team. And I showed you Peyton in serve receive, which if you can pass in serve receive, waiting on your approach and getting space is a lot easier. In defense, it's harder, and most times you don't even have a chance to pause your approach if you're making a really great dig down the line and you have to get up. You don't have an opportunity to take that point of hesitation that you hear a lot of um, coaches talk about. So Elena's gonna make an adjustment here and she um, digs the ball, great dig, and that little juke move was really good. Something I'm very proud of. <laughs> um, and then she actually takes a couple small steps, which is something that we try to train a lot. And we do have to go over it over again because when you're in that game mode, we want it to be something you don't think about. So she makes that first step before Molly sets the ball. And usually Molly's sets are perfect. So they're in a window where Elena kind of knows where they're gonna be. But in this instance, Molly pushed it a little bit too far. So Elena had to make that adjustment with her step close. In making that adjustment with her step close, she comes in really flat to the net and that's when her shoulders are facing straight instead of opening up to the angle. And that's when we become a little predictable. So in this situation, the only thing Elena could do was hit that hard driven line. Luckily it was really hard driven and hard for the other team to control or shoot anything angle. So we wanna be as unpredictable as we can and have all um, shots and hits in our attack. So that first step is really important. And then here's Peyton again. So I showed you Peyton doing it the correct way before. Um, nobody's perfect and it's all something we have to work on, but here Peyton is in transition as well. And she makes a really um, good pass on a free ball. And again, she's used to Liz knowing her window and we talk a lot about our setters finding our hitter too, not necessarily setting a spot. But Liz pushes that set a little bit too far out and Peyton steps a little too early. So again, this is really common in transition and not as common in serve receive, but we really try to practice waiting and forcing um, our setter to keep the ball in front of us so we can look like an attacker, but Peyton makes a great play. This last video is Molly McBain and she's one of our seniors. She's probably the best on our team at spacing on her approach. And you see that ball trickled off the net and sometimes that can be a stressor in the game. Molly handles it really well and she passes forward and she doesn't get up and sprint to the net. She gets up, she's patient, she lets the ball come in front of her on the set and she makes a line shot. It's not even a great line shot, but it's good enough because Molly held the defender with her approach and her strength of approach. So she looked like she could hit, she looked like she could cut, hit angle, shoot line, and then at that point it's just um, her choice and the defender was kind of stuck there. So it's really a hard thing to master and one of the things you can work on to work on this as home is just try different approaches without the ball and visualize, okay, this is where I'm gonna go to the ball if it's a perfect set, and then if it's pushed out and you can adjust that first step and make it a little bit longer, 
um, so you can cover more ground to the ball and start your approach back a little bit farther and then step close to the ball. And that's something we do even with our players when we're starting um, the season and working on those individual skills is we'll do approach work without a ball. And it's rather boring, but um, it makes them understand the point of waiting and making that first step a little bit longer to the ball and having that same space. So hope you enjoyed the video um, and hopefully you learned a little something about spacing on your approach and hope to see you guys soon. Go Knowles!